Hi everyone. This week's video is how I'm going to grow my YouTube channel at the age of 63 years old. Now, I don't know about you, but sometimes I find it difficult to stay consistent and motivated when I start something new, especially if I don't know much about it and there's a lot of learning to it. And I can tell right off the bat that there's going to be a lot of learning to this. There's learning how to use YouTube, learning how to use cameras, learning how to use different platforms like Canva for editing and um, any other kind of editing tool or analytic tool that might be out there. So um, yeah, this is going to be a challenge. So I'm going to, I devised a plan on how to stay motivated in order to grow my channel. Now I understand that and I'm well aware that I'm probably not going to um, get the thousand subs overnight or within a month or even within three months. So in my mind, I'm, I'm guesstimating six months to a year that I will get my subs and my view hours. So I'm well aware of that. So that's not stressful for me, but the technical stuff is starting to get a little bit stressful. <laughs> so if you're watching this video and you're saying, oh, that's me too, and that's holding you back from starting a channel, then I highly recommend that you watch this. And if I can help you, if I can just help one person by doing this, by starting a channel, channel of their own, then I feel like I have done what I was supposed to do. That was my purpose. So I have five steps that I'm going to file, follow every week for these progress videos. And the first one is, what am I doing to grow my channel? The second one is, things that have truly helped me. The third one is, what didn't help me, because that's very important for people to know too. Or what doesn't help me might help you, and vice versa. Number four, what I need to work on, and the last one, my analytics. So number one and number two may go together quite often because they're kind of, they could be together or, or not, but probably in this video they will be mixed together. Oh, and oh, before I forget, I did say I was 63, but my name is Jeannie, and my channel is That's My Gig 03, T-H-A-T-S-M-Y-G-I-G-03. These are just, these videos are just going to be progress videos. So, let's get down to business here. I am sitting in a park in Three Rivers, Michigan, and it is very hot outside today. What did I do to grow my channel this week? Or what do I plan on doing? This is my plan. So my plan is to watch at least three to four different content creators a week may watch them daily, may watch them every other day. It just depends on if I can work them into my schedule. My schedule's not really tight right now because I'm at home because I injured my hand and um, I'm not working right now. So Kevin Colden is one. He is very, I find his videos very encouraging. He goes very slow and explains the steps of the technical part like, um, how to look at your analytics and how to edit a video, how to do it in screen. And he is very, very good. So I like him. And I just started watching live video school. They are very good. That is a father and son team that is doing that fly. Sorry. <laughs> that is doing that um, video page channel. And they are very helpful, very encouraging. I can connect really good with them. I connect really good with Kevin Colden. 
and then Vanessa, I don't know what her last name is. I'll put all of these links um, to these channels in the comments and in the description of my video. So you can go there and check them out. Vanessa, she is a Canva certified creator. So I've watched her stuff in order to understand and navigate around the Canva editing and making videos and how to make your pictures and your videos more, um, not flashy, but just more professional. Give them a more professional look. I really like Canva a lot. Some people don't like it, but I really like it a lot. And then from watching these channels, I learned how to, well, first and foremost, the biggest success this week was doing my first video. That was my introduction video of me instead of pictures and me talking behind it or a video and me talking behind it or you actually see me for the very first time in my introduction video. And that was very, very scary because I am not the per a type of person to get in front of a camera. I don't like putting myself in videos. I don't like doing selfies. If you go on my Facebook page or any other of my social media pages, you will see very, very few pictures of me because I just don't feel comfortable. I don't think I'm very photogenic and I just, for pictures and as far as video, videos go, I do not like public speaking. I don't like any form of public speaking. I am an introvert. <laughs> I would rather keep to myself and not share my stuff with anybody. <laughs> but here we are. <laughs> I am stepping out of my comfort zone here. So that was a huge success for me. And I am so proud that I did that. And I only hope to get better with each video. I know this one's not going to be a very good one, but that's okay. I'm just learning, and this is just my second in-person video. So another thing I learned was, um, so that's a personal thing that I learned. Some technical things that I learned, sorry, I'm following the outline, which I didn't want to do, but everybody suggested I do it. Uh, technical things that I learned was how to do a thumbnail, and I thought I did a better thumbnail than what my older videos are because I started my page in April 8th and I strictly did travel videos and those were our slides slideshows slash videos and those were um of a trip that we went to in the Bahamas over the spring break so I did those but then I injured my hand and I had to stop for June and July and the end of July I started getting back into it because my doctor said I was okay to start using my hand more so I uh, I think my I just started uploading August 4th August 8th uh, I mean July July 4th July 8th something like that so that is um, why you will see a gap in my videos. So my thumbnails previously were acceptable, I think, but then I watched a video by somebody and they, by a very, what do I wanna say? Mature, not mature, somebody that has been doing videos for like 14 years or so. And he has millions of subscribers. So he has these flashy type thumbnails. So I thought I would do a little bit of a flashy one. And after watching live, what is it? Live video school the other day, they suggested that you keep your thumbnails simple. Either use a portion or a picture from inside of one of your videos or just keep it simple and don't make it real flashy. So I redid it. I redid a thumbnail for my in-person, my first in-person video, and I re-uploaded it um, Friday, I think it was, Thursday or Friday. So thumbnails was new. And then, let's see. Oh, 
I bought me a new microphone. It's a Level R, and it has. Did I shut it up? No. It's a Level R, and it is a play and plug, so you don't have to have an app, and you don't have to have um, you don't have to do anything special to your phone. You just plug this little gizmo in to the back of your phone, and uh, the microphone just connects just like that. So that is something I did. I bought a new microphone, and then I learned how to use my camera because a lot of my videos from my travel videos, they, the video part came out in the portrait style. Some of them came out right, and some of them came out right because I copied them off of my daughter-in-law. <laughs> but a lot of mine from my phone, because I have a one of those um, Samsung Fold, Samsung Z Fold phones, so I didn't do anything to the camera adjustments. And when I was doing videos and taking pictures, I didn't realize it until I uploaded them into Canva and they came out in the portrait view. Well, I couldn't really do anything with them because if I tried to resize them, it distorted them too much. So I just left them and uploaded them into the videos and slideshows and posted them on YouTube. And some people did not like that. <laughs> So I made it a point the other day to learn how to use my camera so I can get a better view when I'm recording with it. So, and I'm still learning the camera. So, so what I succeed in and what I need to continue to work on. So you heard my successes. Um, I continue, I'm going need to continue to work on the technical stuff like end screens. I don't quite understand that. Um, trying to find my niche and just a whole bunch of, uh, just a whole slew of other technical things that go with YouTube and making videos. I, because I'm, because I am uh, just getting into this, using my videos a lot and uploading, I need to learn things. So, what did not work for me? <laughs> Some people aren't going to like this, but I'm going to say it anyhow. Vid IQ did not work for me. It might work for you. It might work for other people, but it did not work for me. It, I found it too overwhelming. And I just couldn't connect with the program. I mean, up here, connect. I couldn't connect up here with the program. And when I uninstalled it in from my laptop, I had a frightening experience because my YouTube channel changed and I thought I had lost everything. And I went into a panic, and it took me three hours to understand what I had to do. I had to contact YouTube to find out what happened. And what happened was when I uninstalled it, somehow the program hid my page. So they talked me into the steps on how to get it unhidden. So it would be because it, I would click on my email or my, my account in Google, and then I'd click my little icon because my icon in my Google is the same as my YouTube icon. And it would say, and I would open up YouTube and then it'd say no channel. You don't have no channel. And I'm like, Oh my God, I lost everything. <laughs> so that was a frightening experience, but got it figured out. So that absolutely bid IQ absolutely did not work for me. Maybe later on, I'll try it again. Once I get more, used to these other things, but Kevin Holden, one of the persons that I'm recommending you to watch, he uses a tool called Riverside. So I think I'm going to look more into that, in depth into that, because I was watching a video of him doing it, and it just, it looked so easy. It looked like everything was so self-explanatory, so I think I might try that. 
and then what I need to work on, I already said that, you know, all of the camera stuff and the video stuff and the making end screens. Now, I'm going to say that uh, if you're still watching this video, you must be interested in it. So why don't you just go like and subscribe to my channel so you can see more of them when they pop up and make sure to hit that little bell so you get notifications on my next when my next video is posted. So the analytics, I am going to uh, close this down. I'm going to drive back home and I'm going to uh, tape, do a recording on my screen and me showing you my analytics because I don't know how to show them on my phone here. I haven't gotten that far in doing that. So every Sunday, like I said, I will be uploading my progress video. It will be from the week. It will be from today, Sunday, to next Saturday. It'll be the analytics and what I learned, didn't learn, and need to work on in that week's learning time frame. And then I will also, on Wednesday or Thursday, I will um, post a video of trying to find my niche or just walking around town showing you where I live so you can get familiar with me or or talking about myself so you can get familiar with me so I am going to be going back home and in a few minutes here I'm going to stop this video and then I have some walking I need to do around the park and I will see you back at my house and we will look at my analytics till then bye Okay, I had to redo that because there was a glare of my dining room light right here, so it didn't um, it didn't do anything. So we are going to start this now. This is something that I uploaded into Canva. You get this from YouTube Analytics, so I had to do a snippet save it and then make it into a picture so I could upload it into Canva and then I had to make it into a video that's how I got this this you do not get this out of Canva it's a picture that I got out of YouTube and put it into Canva so let's start this so my analytics for um, April 8th, when I started, to August 4th, I had 1,625 views right here, 42.2 watch time hours, and two subscribers. That's my overall total since the time I started. Then we go to just the month of July, 295 views, 8.4 watch time hours, I gained one subscriber. And then we go for last week's progress, Sunday to Saturday, 165 views, 3.3 watch time hours. I didn't gain any subscribers. And if you click this button, this pops up and it gives you the date and the amount of new views for that day it does not give you time because I um, I don't have enough data to get the time the analytics for the time so we're gonna let this shoot there we go And then this is my overall views, 449 for this video, 425 overall views for this short, 126 for this video, 81 for this video, and 78 or 76 for this video. These are my top ones. And that is the analytics. So I will do this every week and we will compare the previous week to the new week 
that I am on, that I just finished. So we can see my progress. So I'm gonna turn this camera around on me. I'm gonna adjust it. Excuse me for this. Okay, so I plan on these progress videos not lasting, lasting any more than 15 minutes. This one went over because it's my first one. I'm a little bit slower. I'm new. This is only my second in-person video, so bear with me. I hope they get quicker. And I'm going to sign off because I took enough of your time. I hope you subscribe, like, and leave a comment down below if you like this video or if you found any value in it. You all have a great Sunday after evening. Bye-bye. Till next week.